How's it going? Happy um, night before Cinco de Mayo. I always find that this holiday is a great, a great reason to dip into the Spanish inspired food and flavors. And uh, we are so lucky because, what? We are so lucky because we have a recipe from the Make It Raw ebook from the Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle. And we are going to be making like enchiladas of some sort tomorrow with like sprouted lentils and I don't know, I'm gonna make like a mango salsa of some sort, I'm sure. There's like a red sauce that goes in it and they're gonna be delicious, but you can't make, what did I just say I'm gonna make? Tostadas, rellanas, or enchiladas. You can't make enchiladas without tortillas, right? So we're gonna make some tortillas, but we're gonna make them raw. And if you have never experienced dehydrators yet, you should look into that. We have a commercial dehydrator, but I recommend to everybody that they get an Excalibur. I can, ex I can explain to you why if you wanna know more about it. But uh, we're gonna put together, I can't give you the exact recipe. You're gonna have to get the, you're gonna have to get the Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle to get the exact recipe. But you can get inspiration and see how making not just raw vegan food, but just homemade food can literally level up your entire food and eating experience. Uh, but first off, let's just get, give a free shout out to Chummy Teas for our shirts. This says um, support your local farmer and Cohen has mini farmer, mini farmer on his shirt. Um, that's appropriate. We get some like corny t-shirts for Kyle to wear to the farmer's market, which by the way, start, uh, uh, no, which by the way, that starts uh, for the local folks that are watching this. That starts this Saturday. The summer market does. So that's super fun. Kyle will be there with our produce that is at least ready for the early spring season. And he will have microgreens as well as our elderberry syrup and elderberry DIY kits. Okay, we're not gonna use the knife on the outside. I have to get the ingredients, I have to get the water and this for is, and these this, tortillas. And look, this is what a banana looks like when it's peeled. That's amazing. That's amazing. Okay, so we are going to make the these tortillas and um, can you get the chia seeds and the psyllium out of the pantry, please? Daddy? Uh, we're gonna make them. Can Daddy be in the video? No. Um, Kyle just got home from the farm. Okay. No, honey. He, no. He's gonna. I'm gonna cut it, right? Okay. Yeah, no. You're gonna open the banana regularly and then you get to cut the banana once it's open. Yeah. Okay. So Cohen's gonna do his knife skills with some banana. Um, yeah. And then down in the jar behind the. Um, yes. Okay, so we're gonna blend. Again, I can't give you exact measurements yeah. because you're gonna have to get the bundle if you want the exact right measurements for this. And you remember that knife skill video that I teach you how to use a knife? So I, so I chop my finger like a tiger, like a tiger, and then I cut it, it and then cut it. Cut it. I think we made a salad. Yeah, we made a salad. Yeah, keep your fingers tucked though. Like, yeah. Don't look at the camera and cut at the same time. You have to look at the food while you're doing it. Does that make sense? Okay, so these wraps are made out of simple ingredients. We're, we're using soluble fiber in the form of whole plant foods to help bind together our ingredients that we're making um, to create uh, raw vegan tortillas. And again, this is going to be for like Cinco de Mayo themed dish that I'm gonna make out of the raw vegan bundle that's available right now through May 11th only. It's going to be gone forever after that. And it's over $1,800 worth of raw vegan recipes and also like um, different yeah. wellness modalities that are within this bundle as a bonus. Um, Cohen wants to talk, okay. And this is what it, it looks like in a banana, kind of like greenish, like greenish. 
and I can't see. Like now you think it's yellow, but it's kind of greenish yellow something. All right, so, perfect. Huh. Okay, so the bundle is gonna be gone on May 11th and we will never have access to it again. And it's 40 contributors that pulled together to help you get on your way to wellness and to kickstart yeah. your body with raw foods. And yeah, yeah. and it's just, at, it's incredible. So there's everything from super simplistic to, uh, you know, creations like smoothies and sauces to more elaborate oh. things that uses dehydrators. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, food, mm -hmm. food, uh, blending utensils, like uh, food processor, or blender. um, but it's up to you what you want to make. And maybe you want to invest in some of these fun things for the kitchen to, you know, start making new recipes and to stay on the, the path to health, health and wellness. Anyways. Okay. So we're going to be using, um, in our blender. I'm gonna make my tortillas red bell pepper tortillas. Can you get a bowl? Because I'm gonna. And then we're going to put bowl. fresh yeah. corn. I don't know if you guys ever eat raw fresh corn, but that's like pretty much the only way we eat it because we grow it and it's it's so good just raw right off the top. Um, okay. Can you get a bowl so I can put this? No, I can't get a bowl right now. For daddy. No, I can't get a bowl right now. You can get a bowl. Where is it? Ah. Let's see. Okay, so we're gonna do. Um, sorry, it's it's past his bedtime, but whatever. Okay, we're doing water. And we are doing some omega threes from some healthy plant fats. Um, I'm doing Okay, and then we're using an ingredient called psyllium husk. Now, psyllium husk is. Um, you already teach people about it. Yeah, we'll, we'll teach think... them again. Maybe, maybe, maybe some people missed the video before. Um, but you can buy it in the whole husk, or you can buy it in the psyllium husk powder. Um, both will work for recipes most of the time. Um, yeah, you have to tip it like that in order to get it. Um, but, but. You know, if the recipe specifies, you can typically um, interchange them and they'll still work. It's a good binder for your it's not recipe. Movie, All right, Cohen has his own language. I think most kids do. All right, so we're going to blend. We're going to blend. Blend, 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 blend. Again, we have red bell pepper tortillas here. I need to check the texture. We might have to add a little bit more corn because they need to bind together. Um, if you put them on the dehydrator tray with too much water in them, I just, I should have measured a little bit better with the water. But if you put too much water in them, they will be, um, they will, take way long to dehydrate oh, yeah. and they won't stay together oh, yeah. when you pour them onto the um, onto the tray. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna use the rest of the corn. I should have like taken my time and measured it perfectly, but it's yeah. late and oh, you gotta get these in the dehydrator. Okay, so let me go one more blitz with this. But it's a simple, flexible <laughs> recipe. Um, a lot of these recipes are it's not like you're baking. Um, it's not like a real science. It's just really about like dehydrating food, blending food. It's all fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, and where's my lid? I lost the lid. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's late at night. It's late and we're cooking in the kitchen with Cohen.
No more noises, mister. All right, so now it's a great texture and it's kind of thick, coagulated, <laughs> and the it will be perfect to put on a dehydrator tray. Now, before we do that, I'm going to tell them about dehydrating and how it keeps your food living. Um, when you Can don't cook it? food past 115 degrees, it's technically not destroying the enzymes and the antioxidants in your food. Hold on one second, we will pour it in a minute. And uh, we have a commercial food dehydrator uh, because I used to make food for the farmer's market with it. And um, this is a silicone mat. And this, I just pulled a wrap off of, so it has a few like spices left on it, but I don't care. I'm just gonna make my tortillas on the same one. But this is a silicone mat. I don't, I don't think that people should be baking with silicone. Uh, just FYI, you that can release some volatile compounds into your food. But um, when you're dehydrating, it's totally safe. And um, okay, we're gonna put it down now. And I, I can do. It. Okay, put it down. And um, when you buy a dehydrator, I highly suggest that you just invest in one that doesn't have a hole in the center. You can totally make wraps without a, a dehydrator that's like a square, but they won't be square. They will be round, toward, like, you know, wraps yeah. with a hole in the middle, and your food wow. will look different. It's okay. You can still combine flavors, and it will still be the same wow. right? eventually at the end. It just will look different. Okay, so we're going to pour, 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 pour the pour, tortillas pour, pour, pour. on. Nice. We're going to do what, four? Let's see. Sneak, snack, snoop. Sneak, snack, snoop. That's not a word. Okay, guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> children, children in their, um, ah, 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 no, no, no hands. No hands. <laughs> um, we're going to spread the tortillas. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll have to use more silicone trays to do this, but we're just going for like a quarter of an inch thick. And again, to get the entire recipe here, you're gonna need oh. to get the ultimate raw oh. vegan bundle. <laughs> is it good? Yeah, the peppers. The peppers are good. Okay. The peppers gonna make it like a little bitter. <laughs> you gotta cook it. <laughs> so it's gonna dehydrate overnight, and but these will be we're tortillas doing the raw tomorrow. Bundle. bundle. The, the right? raw bundle. I yeah. said bundle. This is bundle. AJ's recipe. Bundle. Are you tired? You need to go to bed. I said bundle. Okay. Bundle. <laughs> okay. Bundle. Guys, we're signing off. This is how you make the tortillas. Uh, we'll put them in the dehydrator. I'll show, the, show you them tomorrow. We're gonna make something, you know, Cinco de Mayo themed. Like maybe I'll make these into tostadas. You just don't know, but it's gonna be good. There will be salsa involved and you can't go wrong with tortillas and salsa, literally ever. Okay, there it is. There's a red bell pepper tortilla. We shall see how this turns out. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, get the um, raw vegan bundle before it's gone on May 11th. You will not regret it, I promise you. I guarantee you won't regret it. Um, and if you have any questions about healthy living, just let me know. Be well, take care of your body temple, and we'll see you guys later. How's it going? <sighs> Hi, happy Friday. Hope you're having a great day. It's a good day to make Mexican inspired food because it's Cinco de Mayo and I'm gonna do that. So um, for those of you that may not know, the Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle is available right now. This is a collaborative effort of 40 professionals, foodies, recipe creators, wellness practitioners who want to help you take the next step to a path of better living for the rest of your life. Hello, Beth, happy Friday. So what we have done is put together a culmination of raw vegan recipes, mm -hmm. plus wellness um, yoga and mindset and making money and mainly food though, mainly food. And um, it's $1,800 worth of amazing content for only $50, but the catch is, yes, there is a catch. It's only available until May 11th, so if you wanna get your hands on $1,800 worth of content for $50, then now is the time to do that. So just make sure that you click down in the show notes or the link in my bio to get the bundle. 
for only $50. Now, last night I went live and I showed a tortilla demo. So these are raw vegan tortillas. As you can see, I've torn this one off of the silicone sheet. This is our commercial dehydrator tray. It's very large. Um, but you can get dehydrators that are smaller. <laughs> and these 14 by 14 sheets will fit in them to make amazing wraps, to make tortillas. You don't even have to have these trays. Like there's all these different ways of doing it. You can message me if you are curious about all the different ways of dehydrating and uh, making raw food. But you know, you could easily have a Cinco de Mayo inspired uh, meal without having a dehydrator at all or without cooking anything at all. And the way that you could do that is having a, um, you know, a, a bass, AKA a big ass salad, okay? Um, <laughs> or, or you could have, you know, and you could make this salad out of like whatever lettuce you like. Maybe it's just like iceberg, you know? And you could have a lot of that, angel hair that, make it really thin, and then um, load that up with fresh raw corn and um, putting, you know, your favorite salsa or salsas on top, avocado um, for some healthy fats, and then of course your red onions, you could do sprouted lentils or beans if that's your thing, you could put juicy mangoes on top, jalapenos, um, but really raw corn is amazing if you haven't tried it yet you need to it's so good um you could do and you know in the dehydrator if you have the dehydrator you can make different concoctions like that we're going to make today with like riced cauliflower um and again you don't even need the dehydrator for that you could do riced cauliflower with like a really good sweet mexican in, uh, inspired sauce um so many different ways to have a healthy single de Mayo. You could even do these like raw vegan mocktails with like some ginger and lime juice and some dates blended together and then strain and make like little mocktails Ooh, with mint because it's springtime mint. I mean, come on. There's uh, so many things that we can do. Just get in the kitchen, get your herbs, get your spices, get your fruits, get your vegetables and you will unlock new, you, you will unlock a new life. You will unlock a new person. You will have mental clarity. You will have better digestion. You will lose weight. You will drop the inflammation. You will gain so much life. It's not about, you know, it's not about a diet. It's about a lifestyle and what you're going to gain. You are going to gain your life back. You're going to gain your body back. You're going to gain your mental clarity and your, you know, you're going to reduce your, your anxiety and your depression. You're going to gain a lot and you're also going to get rid of a lot and all the things that don't serve you anymore is what's what's going to go that anxiety that poor digestion that lethargy that you know un uninspiration that's all going to go away and you're going to have a new chapter a new feeling in your own body you're going to have energy you're going to again reduce your inflammation just feel so much better all around and what you put at the end of your fork every single day three times or more per day will impact your entire existence. So I highly suggest that you tap into living foods. I highly suggest that you tap into plant foods. 97% of people are not getting enough plants in their diet and that is a major cause of concern knowing that our chronic illness rates are higher than ever and um, you know our top killer is heart disease and all of the associated factors with heart disease, such as high blood pressure, hyperlipidemia, high cholesterol, being overweight or obese, all of these things have very much to do with our lifestyle and what we eat. So we really need to be mindful of getting back to what's really there for us to eat, which is whole natural food, right? That's what food is. It's not, it's not from a package. It's not, um, you know, from the, from the fast food line. That's not food. That's not food. It's calories, but it's not food, right? It's made in a lab. It's not real. We need to get back to whole foods. So today we're going to, I'm just, you know, I'm not following an exact recipe because I can't give you the exact recipes because you're going to have to get the ultimate raw vegan bundle to do that. 
If you want some next level, like gourmet fun in the kitchen recipes, this is for you. If you want like everyday smoothies that are really, really easy, this is for you. This bundle has literally everything for all cooking levels, all experience levels with eating more plants. Um, and you will find recipes that you love, guaranteed. Like there's no way you won't, there's so many. But I made these tortillas last night. These are made with corn and bell peppers and um, some chia seed and psyllium husk to pull that all together. The chia seed and the psyllium husk aren't 100% mandatory, but they make them more pliable. They make them pliable and soft. So I ate one already today and it's really good. Um, and the trick is that if you're dehydrating these, you don't want to take them off the dehydrator tray oops, until right before you're ready to eat them because otherwise they do start to get a little bit dry. So these are going to be used for like soft taco application and enchiladas. So when you are eating raw, things are not cooked above 115 degrees. So if you're wanting these types of like foods, like these fun, you know, extra special fancy foods, then you're gonna need a dehydrator. Otherwise, you could make these recipes potentially in the oven, but they will absolutely be cooked at a higher temperature than 115 unless that's a setting on your oven, which actually somebody told me they had a setting on their oven for dehydrator, which is really cool. Um, it must be really low temperature oven, which is awesome. Um, but you could try these recipes and make them in the cooked version. You absolutely could do that. You would just not cook them, you know, you would just need to watch the food to see how it's behaving in the oven. Um, but I'm going to use these in multi-purpose. So this enchilada di dish is a combination of red sauce and then a mixture, a filling, if you will, the enchilada filling that you then dehydrate. But I'm going to skip some steps and I'm not going to dehydrate the filling. And I'm just going to put the sauce and the filling, roll it all up pop it in the dehydrator. And this is the fun part about raw foods. Like it's really a labor of love if you're wanting to do the more intricate recipes like in the dehydrator, um, especially for all you foodies out there that want like flavor explosion and all these different, you know, um, things like textures and a full blown experience. Um, this is where it's really, really fun. And you know, I can warm it in the dehydrator and all of the flavors will meld together for you know three four hours and then it will be really delicious like I've made raw vegan lasagnas before with like layered zucchini and like a cashew ricotta and um, mushrooms that were marinated it was unbelievable I made it when I was pregnant and like I sat down and just ate the whole thing it was so good anyways <laughs> these enchiladas can be used for so many different things and I think that if I were to cut these into you know, triangles and dehydrate them for further, they would become crispy and they would be dunkable in salsas. But right now they're pliable, good for tacos that are soft, and then also for these enchiladas that I'm gonna just kind of show you the gist of and talk to you about different options for fillings that you could do in a raw vegan application like this. Can, can I give it the cat color to put on Tulsi? No. So, so I can just walk her around the backyard? You may not. But thank you for asking me. No. Because she never... Colin wants to walk the dog or the cat around the backyard. That's not going to be really good if, if the cat um, gets off and then the neighborhood dogs, dogs, you know, do something. So anyways... But... Okay, you can go talk to Daddy about it. Mommy's on a live video. Okay. And okay. if Daddy says yes. Sure. Okay. But Daddy won't say yes. I know Daddy. Okay, so guys, there's different options that you can do in um, enchilada fillings. For raw vegan recipes listen you could do a lot of different things you could do um, sprouts if you have bean sprouts like you could do that you could go to the grocery store get yourself some sprouts I have sprouted lentils here these are so easy if you are not sprouting your own legumes yet like what are you doing you guys if you want the most nutritious food on earth literally Unlock the power of sprouts. Now these are these are lentil sprouts. They took like two days. Now they've been sitting in my refrigerator and they've gone like nuts. They've been, you know, like sprouting galore. So now they're like this whole next level living, living freaking thing that's 
packed, packed with protein, just packed with protein, more protein than the beans themselves are in sprouts, more antioxidants, more um, dim, an element to help you detoxify, um, more antioxidants, more vitamin C, and more. So um, we are going to do, you could also do sunflower seeds, you can do um, walnuts, you can do riced cauliflower, you could do riced jicama, you could do uh, pulverized mushrooms with cauliflower. There's so many different things that you could do. You can choose, you know, if you want it to be higher fat using the nuts and seeds. You can choose if you want it to be lower fat using the lentils and using the, um, you know, the rice cauliflower. Hold on, I need to do a commission, guys. Um, we need to do an intermission right now. Not a commission, I can talk, I swear. Um, I think that my son is trying to walk the cat around on a leash and that's not gonna go very well. Just give me a second. Kyle, Kyle, the cat cannot walk on a leash in the backyard. Sorry guys, real life with a almost six year old that wants to walk the cat in the backyard on a leash. That's not gonna go well. Okay, so I'm gonna do these enchiladas with uh, riced cauliflower and we're gonna do, again, you can throw mushrooms in here, you can, do sunflowers, sprout, sprouted nuts and seeds, sprouted legumes. Um, and we're gonna do a mixture of sprouted lentils and uh, this rice cauliflower. You guys, you can get so many different like Mexican inspired recipes in this raw vegan bundle. There are enchiladas, there are tacos, there are like pizzas, there are wraps that are all like Spanish flavored themes, there are stews. And I'm telling you, again, if you don't have a dehydrator yet, message me and I'll message you the best one to get because when you get a dehydrator, you wanna invest if you can, if you have the money. Otherwise, there are cheaper ones to get that will do the job. You just won't have, uh, be able to make some of the things because some of them do not have very much space um, and they're different shapes. So, um, but again, you could do this cooked. You could do a cooked version of this uh, with rice cauliflower, uh, beans and, you know, any types of beans that you love. You could do walnuts, you could do sunflower seeds. Um, Sun-dried tomatoes are a really great option to have in your raw vegan kitchen or just in your vegan kitchen, your plant-based kitchen, your healthy kitchen. So we're gonna throw some of the sun-dried tomatoes from the farm, from last year's tomatoes. Thankfully, we still have a lot of sun-dried tomatoes left from last year. Uh, you can make tomato powder out of sun-dried tomatoes or dehydrated tomatoes. That's another good use for dehydration, um, dehydrators, getting your uh, summer produce harvest processed and, um, you know, doing a little bit of preservation. Now we're just going to add copious amounts of chili powder, guys, because that's what makes like taco meat taste like taco meat. It's the spices. It's the plants. It's the plants, people. So we're doing that. And now these enchiladas can be made with like a sauce on the bottom, a sauce on the top, and then in this recipe in particular that I'm getting inspiration from, from the bundle, um, it has like this cheese sauce. And I used to sell cheese sauce at the, um, at the farmer's market. It was a cashew queso cheese. And it was wildly popular. And you can make vegan cheeses out of nuts and seeds super easy. Anybody have any questions? I'm talking about raw vegan kitchen over here. Um, I'm gonna put a little chipotle in here too. The raw vegan bundle is available at the link in my bio to get $1,800 worth of content, raw vegan content recipes for um, just $50 through May 1st, and then it, or through May 11th, and it's gone forever. So you don't want to miss out. It's amazing. All right, I'm going to process this. To make the filling. Perfect. You just kind of pulse it together until all of the texture is the way that you want it to be. You know, you can 
You can make it really thick and ground up, or you can make it kind of just pulverized like I did. You could put some fresh cumin seeds in here. There's the filling, okay? And you can mix this with a sauce um, and make it more of a thick filling, or you can, you know, I know the enchiladas have lots of sauce, right? That's what they're known for, sauce, like lots of sauce. Um, so I might do that. I'm just going to fill like three of these right now. I'm going to, I think I'm going to do four of these with the filling to make enchiladas. And then I'll leave the rest for like soft taco applications that you can do with like iceberg lettuce and, you know, shredded other veggies on top with like avocado and stuff like that. Um, but okay, here's the filling. Like I said, if you pre- peel the tortilla or like I did earlier today, it's gonna to be a little bit more crusty than if you leave it on the dehydrator sheet until you're ready to roll it. Um, but in this, in this vat, <laughs> this huge thing of blender, I have something like that I'm gonna make. It's like a, it's a salsa, sweet salsa sauce. So this again is not exactly the recipe from the raw vegan bundle. I can't give the entire recipe away, but this is from the Make It Raw book. Um, and I am just basically putting some Mexican flavors together to mimic a red sauce uh, that would be in the book. Now in here, I actually have lime, lots of cilantro, jalapeno, tomatoes, dates to make it sweet, um, green onion, and I haven't thrown any garlic in. Sometimes I just skip the garlic on the salsa. I think that the onion can be enough flavor. You know, the green onion can be enough flavor, but we'll have to see once I get it made. Um, so much cilantro in there, but you can try it. You can always add sun-dried tomatoes to sauces too. It's really good. Oh my gosh. It's absolutely delicious. So what I'm going to do is take the filling, or take the tortilla, roll it up. That's really good. That's spicy and good. I don't know. I don't know if I should add. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay. You could have even done, I could have even roll, uh, put up some corn in here in the filling. Again, you could use jicama. You could use sunflower seeds, walnuts, lentil sprouts. So we're gonna fill those. I actually think I'm gonna go back and fill the um, fill them a little bit more full, so that the tortillas are not so overlapped. No, Cohen. No, you talk to Daddy right now. Okay, so you can talk to Daddy right now about that. All right. So this is the enchilada size. I mean, I don't eat a lot of enchiladas. If I'm gonna eat Mexican food, it's gonna be like tacos or just really like a lot of chips and, and dips. That's the way I roll. But this is the size of the raw vegan enchilada for my purposes. I would say it's probably like the diameter of a golf ball. And the cool part about it is that I can make these just on any container or any type of like plate that I want. So this is just a large plate that I'm gonna make a very glorious dinner <laughs> that I will very much enjoy. Um, and you could put it in any container that you want. But I'm going to I'm going to fill this up a little fuller. And you guys again, you could take these recipes if you don't want to do raw and basically just get inspiration from all the flavors that are in this. It's like unbelievable. 
It's so unbelievable. This bundle is unreal. There's a whole smoothie book that goes through different um, herbs and spices. And so they use the spice or herb in the smoothie recipe. And I love that. I just love that. Anything we can do to get more in touch with Mother Nature by using herbs in our food more. And not just like the herbs that we're used to seeing on the store shelf, you know like so many other herbs out there that are so medicinal that we need to be utilizing to help regulate our nervous system. Okay, so like I said, we're really filling that up. And then we're rolling up the enchilada. These red bell pepper corn tortillas that I made last night are so yummy. They're so pliable from the chia seeds and the, um, the psyllium husk which is such a good form of soluble fiber, which helps to, it helps elimination, helps your body naturally detoxify. Okay, so we're gonna fill this up. And again, I'm gonna use the rest of this filling to, um, to make like soft tacos with, and you could do like a creamy guacamole sauce or salsa verde with this and load them up just like you would any taco. But we're gonna heat this up in the dehydrator and all of the flavors will really like meld together and the tomato sauce that I made that has the dates in it will get even sweeter and kind of caramelized. All right. So here's my plate of enchiladas. Now I just need to literally cover them up with the sauce. And then we will dehydrate. So we're gonna smother, right? Isn't that how enchiladas go? I could have put more tomatoes in this, but we're just gonna let it be a green sauce. I think I'll let some of the edges stick out. I feel like that's what I've seen people do before. But you definitely, when you're making enchiladas, you need plenty of sauce. I should have done some on the bottom, but you want it to like, it seeps through the enchiladas and makes them soft, right? So, um, all right, I'm gonna pop these in the dehydrator. I will be back with a, uh, an update in my stories once they are done. And do not forget to get the Raw Vegan Bundle. It is only available through May 11th. So if you want to kickstart your health, if you want to get more raw food in your life, if you want to take control of your health, reduce your inflammation, drop the weight, have better mental clarity, get in on this bundle. You will not regret it. And um, have a great rest of your day. Message me if you have any questions. I am here to help you along your health journey. Be well. Take care.